Hey, fuck you, I gotta record this. Ah! Yeah, I just wanna say, the only time you ever looked up to Jesse is when he was on top of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, so, this next person, their main talent is... Say something. I don't know. Whatever. She was a theater major. She has a master's. And she was a bartender here at the lovely Elks Lodge. Let's give it up for Erica. That was really good. Got your list? I can't believe I have to follow that asshole. <laughs> That's Mr. Asshole. Can I just say, wow, wow, Brad, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I haven't been fucked like that since yesterday. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta remember what my password is. Hold on. All right, so uh, like Brad said, we're here to celebrate, if you can call it that, uh, the 32 old birthday of Mr. Oh, Jesse oh. Calixto here. Uh, and look at these bunch of motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And Nick Easterday, you should be up here while I burn your ass. Oh, yeah. So Nick Easterday, who's holding the camera um, and out of throwing distance uh, for posting that fucking picture of me when I was in the hospital having my gallbladder removed. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you later. <laughs> but I'm going to roast you first. So Nick Easterday is serving as a roast master this evening. I don't know, uh, some of you may not know this, but he just returned from a month's vacation in uh, Africa. Cool. And some of you may not know, may or may not know, that uh, my friend Nick here uh, is prone to hedonistic, some might say slutty, behavior from time to time. True. And I was concerned that this voyage to Africa, to the motherland of the AIDS virus, might render him with some mutated genital funk of all funks that we just don't have a pill for here in the U.S. of A. But Nick, like a good old American boy, waited until you returned to U.S. soil. No, I didn't. <laughs> hold on. To fornicate without a care until his balls turned blacker than an African Bushman's. <laughs> and if you buy him a shot of Fireball, he'll probably show you the picture. That's true. Brittany Hunt is on the dais tonight. Oh, yeah. Brittany. Brittany is so sweet, it's true. And it's really hard to, to say too much terrible about her. So I'm going to use this as a segue into saying terrible things about Jessie. <laughs> so uh, after a storied courtship with her love of all loves, Daniel Hunt, who is not here yet tonight, uh, the two were united in matrimony, summer before last, in a lovely, lovely celebration. And this couple always lets their University of Idaho Vandal Pride show, even at their nuptials, which were bedecked in Vandal silver and gold. The event was reminiscent of a dreamy Palouse summer's eve, made all the more perfect, with a teak with no shoes on, passed out drunk on the front lawn. <laughs> Brittany's dream wedding was complete. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? I was tired. <laughs> shit their pants when this guy posted on Facebook that he asked Steffi to marry him and she actually said yes? Yeah. Can I get a collective, uh, yeah? yeah. Alright, well, fuck me, but it was happening, right? And in Vegas, no less, and in true narcissistic fashion, Jesse had his wedding streamed live over the internet for all the world to see. And at the appropriate time, I tuned into the old World Wide Web, waiting for the shock of my life. The only thing probably that could shock me more than the sight of Nick Easterday's blackened balls. Because Jesse fucking Calixto is getting married. And I watched as that pink Cadillac rolled into the ceremony. Who, did everybody watch that? Yeah. Did everybody watch that? Yeah. Now, I was really sincerely thinking that at any moment Ashton Kutcher was going to pop up from the back seat <laughs> and let us all know that we'd just been fucking punked. But that didn't happen. Jesse and Steffi actually got married. United in fucking matrimony, which was actually the fucking punk of the century. They punked us fucking all. Congratulations to you. And I would like to say, Steffi, I couldn't be prouder of your Mrs. Roper attire. Yes. I couldn't be. Not even if I tried. You know, and it's a great thing that Jesse is married now because, you know, he used to be considered quite the womanizer, the flanderer, back in the day. But don't let that worry you, Stephanie, because he finally gained the last five of those I couldn't cheat on you if I tried pounds. So I think you're safe. But speaking of 
Jesse's wilder and woolier days, when we first moved to Seattle, Jesse once disappeared from the band house for like a week. And upon questioning him, he said that he had passed out under a bush. <laughs> Years later, we would discover that the bush was actually attached to a girl named Ashley. Oh. <laughs> Jesse was arrested so many times for public urination behind John's Alley Bar in Moscow, Idaho, the police gave up on busting him and instead began leaving a roll of toilet paper in a Reader's Digest by the back door of the bar, just in case. Now, we, I've heard this Jesse the Mexican shit, and I take, take fucking issue with it, okay, Jesse? Because really, it's only a half truth, given the fact that you were raised by your Mormon mother in Idaho, and you're only fluent in the bad words in Spanish. I mean, sure, he has a sister named Maria, and his father has single-handedly doubled the population of Southern Arizona with his seed. <laughs> and he's brown. And he's lazy. And he's probably earned the majority of his wages in the United States under the table. So yes. never mind. You can have it. Jesse the Mexican it is. Jesse the Mexican it is. Yay. Yay. Olay. Olay. So just a, a few quick uh, little punches and I'll be done. Uh, Jesse has single-handedly kept the Rumpelman's industry in business the last several years with his continued use of the liqueur as a mouthwash after a puking rally. Yeah. Jesse is actually the creator of a prequel to The Walking Dead. It's called My Breath Smells Like Dead Things. <laughs> Jesse is the only person I know who's ever attacked a hobo, which is ironic because in our circle of friends from college, he was actually voted most likely to become a hobo. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Jesse Galixo is the only person I know who fails upwardly. Yeah. So every time he does some vile and terrible deed, I hope and pray he goes out and buys a Powerball ticket. <laughs> and shares it with me. I love this guy, I've known him for 13 fucking years. We have a love-hate relationship. I love to hate him, I hate to love him. But and here we are. Um, this guy's a fantastic cook. He won't come see you if you live in Ballard though and have, have surgery because it's too far from Capitol Hill. Oh wait, that's that lazy Mexican thing, right? Anyway, um, I love you. I'm glad that I got this opportunity to Raz you just a little bit, and I hope you bought some salve for your asshole because I think the burning has only just begun. Oh. <laughs>